Hi, this is Victor. I wanted to cover Macy's in this video and tell you about this stock and this company. They had their earnings call early this morning and they had really positive earnings and the stock is up 15%. I've been an investor in Macy's really for more than 10 years on and off. And more recently, I invested about six months ago and I'd like to tell you why I'm an investor in Macy's. First reason I'm an investor is that I believe they're undervalued, discounted. And the discount I believe that is on this stock price is 268%, meaning they can more than double in price. Let me take you through the numbers and substantiate that claim. First, I value uh, companies based on free cash flow. So I took the three year average of this company which is 1.5 billion. They are doing really well now after COVID, selling a lot of product, good margin, good cash flow. So I think they're going to be uh, at a $1.5 billion run rate or better for the next four years. After that, I'm going to calculate an intrinsic value based on a 2% growth rate into the future. A nice uh, high discount rate to discount all the future cash flows that I expect lands on a, a market cap of $20 billion. The company is currently traded at $5.4 billion. So there's a really nice discount on this stock price. Uh, the value per share, this will be my target price for the stock is $70. If it gets to $70, I'm probably going to exit the position, count my winnings and move on. But that was what I believe the stock is worth, $70 per share. And the stock's trading at $19 per share. So it has a nice 268% discount. And I am glad I'm an investor in Macy's. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. And Macy's has had up and down stock prices. But uh, more recently, uh, they were down below $10 a share. And they were trading within the last year as high as uh, $34, $35 a share. And the 2020 year has really brought stock prices down and it's really brought Macy's stock price down. So it's Macy's has offered up a number of opportunities to buy during low periods and dips. The overall performance of Macy's has been really good. They've grown their digital sales uh, uh, is 13%. So they're selling online. People can go into the stores, look at the product, but then reorder or order for the first time online because they know the particular brands and how they fit and so forth. They've had 43% revenue increase year over year if compared 21 to 20, a nice dividend to 2.4%. And they generated really in 21, they generated $2.3 billion of free cash flow. I took that three year average in the model you saw before. But as you can see, they're generating a lot of free cash flow to the point where they're buying or repurchasing shares. Uh, they repurchased uh, $500 million worth of shares in 2021. And they have a really low PE of 5.6. Guidance for this year is that they're going to be a flat grower for 22 because 21 was such a good year. And so far, I think they're going to exceed that. They probably get provided guidance that was really conservative and they can probably beat. Q1 came in this morning. They grew 12.8% uh, revenue, which is awesome. They also, um, the stock price went up 15% on that announcement. So the stock's really rallying today. And they've repurchased another another six hundred million dollars of shares in Q1 alone. So just a lot of good stuff in that earnings call. Um, my outlook: consumers want to continue to go out and shop. They want to feel good about themselves. They want to treat themselves. They want to buy nice stuff for their kids or their loved ones. Macy's will continue to grow and profit. In my is my expectation for 2020, 23, 24. And therefore, I'm going to buy more shares because there's good upside in this stock and they pay a dividend along the way. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. I hope you found it interesting. Please keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a professional. I'm just an investor. I'm an investor in Macy's and I like to share my story. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, please do me a favor and like my video. It'll help my channel. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Good luck investing in 2022.